the user interface is ready let's do some connections to our code so we can code what we want to do in our view here so having a storyboard selected you can say control click on the sorry option click on the view that you want to open and this will open it in assistant editor now let's close the side panel so we have some space to work uh, you either can connect it from the left side here or you can connect it from the view itself we have our login view here on the top i'm going to put some marks um, this is just giving us uh, some divide here and I'm going to call this IB outlets and let's give it some separation as well we will have labels then we will have text fields we will have some buttons and also views All right let's start from our labels so we have our email label i like to name my user interface objects what they are this is going to be email label outlet so whenever you read this you know that this refers to email label outlet and not like email text field then we have our password label and finally we have our repeat password password label okay so these are the three labels in case if you have any typos or you want to change something there are two ways of doing this the easy way right click refactor rename or the hard way you have to delete this and if you do this you see these uh, circles here show what it's connected to if you delete any of these you have to go to the user interface here open the right side inspector and this is our connection inspector here every time you create a connection it will be added here so if I let's say delete this one and if I go back to my email the connection is still there and if I run my project now it's gonna crash let's see how it looks usually it throws like a Sigabird error okay it, it crashed let's look at the error uh, let's close the side panels Uh, usually it stops somewhere that doesn't give you any information but what we are interested in in this console report so it has a part terminating up due to uncalled exception reason and then it goes messenger login view controller set value for key and then says this class is no key value coding compliant and this is our hint email label outlet so the problem is with our email label because we have deleted it um, command z to bring it back whenever you uh you have an error please check this error report find the place where it says terminating up because all the rest of this is just a junk for human we don't understand any of that this is a human readable language this is the part we understand whenever you have an error check this out first this will give you a hint how to fix your error if you don't know how to fix and you want to create a question in QA section please describe your error share a screenshot of the error message not the code here just the part where it says why the application was terminated and also if you have changed something before everything was working and you had done some changes and then the crash happened always give as much as information in your question this will help me or other user to help you how to debug your code because again this is programming you can do million things can go wrong 
and as long as you have these error reports you know what you did this will help you to debug your code very fast otherwise other people won't be able to help you without having an access to your code so please whenever you are asking questions about errors share the information on a debug console say what did you do for it to go wrong before it start crashing and provide screenshots all the time so um, getting back to our assistant editor now we need to connect our text fields so let's do the email text field and we have password and we have our repeat password to connect we just say control and drag and this will do the connection All right this is done the buttons we have one two three and four buttons actually the labels we didn't finish we have the reason we are connecting the labels like login we don't connect is this one is not going to change but the label here um, this is going to change so let's do a control drag and connect this one it's going to be sign up label because this is also dynamic and we are going to change it depending in what mode we are finally the buttons let's do the login button outlet the buttons we are going to connect as outlet and as code because the reason I'm connecting this as outlet is whenever we click this sign up we are going to change the name of the button in our case we are just uh, switching a different image we have login and register image so in order to do that we need to have an outlet connection and then this sign up button for this one again we are going to switch it sign in or sign up so let's connect it to have an outlet and the last thing we need to do uh, for the button is resend email the reason we are adding this as an outlet is we want to show this button only when user has log uh, registered and the first email verification was sent so say resend email button outlet all right and the views we are connecting only the views that are going to be changed and the only view we are going to change is the last line here because depending on login or sign up this view will be visible or invisible so we connect this one only I'm going to call this repeat password line view because the other views here they are constantly here and depending on login or password doesn't matter uh, login or sign up this will be visible only the repeat password is going to be added later okay um, the labels are connected we need to connect also action for our buttons so after my view did load i'm going to put another mark called this ib actions and let's connect our buttons the first i'm going to start with the big and important one is the login Call this login button pressed then I will have this top one forgot password it's called forgot password button pressed and let's do the resend email resend email button pressed and the last one is our 
sign in, sign up. So let's do the connection. This is going to be sign up button pressed. OK, there are no more things to add here. So I'm going to close my side panel there. And let's put some extra spaces so we know what's going on there. So we have four buttons with four codes, a view did load, and some user interface. These marks we are putting, you see how it divides everything. You see this line here, IB actions, this divide. And for my view did load before this, I'm going to put a mark. And call this view life cycle. All right. So now we have three marks. We have all the up IB outlets separated, the view lifecycle and IB action. This helps you whenever you want to find some specific function. You can either say command F and search for that, or you can just open and this part here and it has nicely separated everything. Another good thing is minimap. This is very helpful if you have a bigger screen, but not in my case. Actually, I'm going to keep this. You see these marks also come up here as titles. You can just click on it. It will take you wherever you want in a minimap. This is one of the very helpful things added to Xcode 11 and Xcode 12. OK, so we have everything connected. And in our next lecture, we are going to start writing the logic, what we want to happen every time we click on a specific button.